they should speak up. Don't be afraid. Three months since a double murder in Chula Vista and still no closure for a family who lost two fathers in a shooting. Tonight, the family once again demanding answers, hoping to lead to an arrest. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Wale Aliu. Our ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo shows us how the family is doing as they prepare for the holidays. This is where the two men lost their lives three months ago to the day. Their family leaves behind chalk so people can write them messages. And now they've decorated for their first Christmas without them. Merry Christmas, guys. Decorating for Christmas this year is different for Deborah Schlemmer. This is the only way I can spend the holiday with them. The only way, because instead of decorating at home, she's decorating crosses, a memorial site for her son and step-grandson, murdered three months ago at the exact same spot. I don't want him to be forgotten. So through her tears... Schlemmer installs candy canes, bows, and lights to bring the holidays to her loved ones, while also begging that someone comes forward. When they drive up and down the street, and they have any information, any information that they could possibly tell. Please tell. 42-year-old David Bruley and 22-year-old Joseph Arias were killed in late August. According to the Chula Vista Police Department, they got a call of a shooting followed by a crash. When officers arrived, they found a pickup truck crashed into a parked van. Both men unconscious inside, both shot and later died at the hospital. So far, there's been no arrests. And I think it makes it harder because I know that these people are out there just living their life like they didn't do something wrong or take somebody or something important. Schlemmer but, says people have taken yeah. things from the memorial, including a rosary and a light for one of the crosses. She hopes people will respect the space and that someone will talk so she can have some closure. Because your Christmas, I hope on your tree, you realize that there's somebody missing at my tree. The Chula Vista Police Department told us they have no new updates on this investigation, but anyone that knows what happened here that night is asked to call Crime Stoppers, and there is a reward. In Chula Vista, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.